All right, so that is the basement bottom level framed. And uh, we've had Tyler started tearing off that up there. Uh, we'll finish that to be able to tie in the second floor into the main house much easier. But uh, this whole basement is uh, framed out, finished. We've got the OSB on both the outside and we have the OSB down on the top for the sub flooring. Of course, you saw that go down. It's up here on top. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know. I couldn't see the camera. It was way up top. Uh, but uh, I tried to reach it up there. In the basement, this is what we have here. It's all fully framed in and finished. Uh, we'll probably move all this lumber up top once we uh, are completely ready to make it easier. What we've done for now with this uh, here, i um, sure you noticed, of course, the opening was much bigger. And then I simply let the OSB run long. That'll just help for while it's windy, rainy. Plus, I, I'm not sure for 100% how big this door is going to be. Uh, what the drawings call for or look like a call for. It doesn't specify the sizing of the door, but if you were to scale it, but I mean, we've seen that their scaling doesn't line up very well. If you were to scale it off, um, I don't think that they make the type of door that the Historical Society is requiring them to get in that sizing. Uh, all this stuff's kind of in the way, but uh, I think I went over it previously. Of course, right in here, that's gonna be a little half bath with a toilet and a sink. Uh, going through here, we'll go under the stairs and then back. That's where they're going to have both the laundry room and a nice little five-foot storage area. And then, of course, uh, over here, coming right through here is where you'll access the entire basement. The stairs will go up like one or two steps and then go all the way up through that big opening up top that you would have seen as well when we were doing the subfloor, that nice big rectangle that was left out. So um, that should be, that's it for the basement framing. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this video here or if I'll add the upper. It'll just depend when I start editing how much footage and how all that seems to tie together. Just uh, I may put them all together and I may separate them. So we'll just see the upstairs should go a whole lot faster than this floor did the reason being is uh down here we were trying to work and tweak out all the little um, inconsistencies that there are involved where stuff's not square uh stuff's not quite level um when you tie into an old house so hopefully we have gotten all of that taken care of to where we now have a nice with the first floor nice square level surface and we'll be able to hopefully just go ahead and frame that fairly quickly in just a manner of uh, cutting the studs, uh, nailing the walls together. We might not even have to cut the studs up there. I think we've gotten it to where now we could actually buy just the standard 105 studs and uh, frame a wall. Down here, we had to cut every single one of them because to get it to what we needed it to line up with up top, and everything we ended up uh, most of our walls end up needing to be like 105 and a quarter to 106 and uh, and an eighth uh, it was a lot of different funky stuff that you got to do if you're trying to tie it in to an old house and you want it to look right and look like it was always there it's a lot of little things that you got to fudge a little bit here and there um, and still make it structurally sound so that's another thing that we had done um, is all of these uh, here the ceiling joists these are all two by tens but they are notched to sit on top of this top plate here so that when they go outside they will look like two by eights and there's two reasons for that um, the main reason is is i wanted the two by tens it just gives a little bit more structural support to where when you're walking on it you don't feel any deflection in the flooring to where it feels like the floor is bouncing um, the two by eights with the span that this is would have been code compliant, barely, 
Um, but you know, I wanted to go with the two by tens, but at the same time, because the historical district and it needed to, and, and even if it wasn't a historical district, I like to make it look like it was not an add on. So doing that allows from the outside, when you look at it visibly from the outside, it will be the same height as all the rest of the house. So the uh, the fact that the two by tens are notched makes them structurally still a two by eight. However, through flex and bounce, which is what I'm trying to deviate from in the floor, just you walking on it, moving around up top, they will still have the added strength for that. So we've got that part done. Uh, again, I'm probably gonna do the uh, upstairs on a separate video, but I'm just, you know, um, when I do these, I've done most of these videos about two, three months ahead, all the footage, and then I just try to put them together in a timely video to where it doesn't seem like too much or, you know, too little. It just uh, kind of depends on how it ends up looking in the end. If it seems like it's just a really long video that doesn't have a lot of talking. Um, I think my house, my house flip number one videos, those are usually longer. Uh, but I also usually talk a lot more in those because it's my own house down there. So I can take a little more time and try and talk you through the different steps. However, with this, it's a job and we need to get done in a certain amount of time. So there's a lot less uh, talking, uh, explaining what we're doing, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot more hyperlapse and just music playing. So with that being the case, uh, I generally try to keep those a little bit shorter somewhere around no more than be somewhere between 8 and 15 minutes maybe 20 at the max uh, so with that being the case um, that's kind of why I have tried to just break them up just depending on what how the footage goes and what we get with that so um, but yeah bottom floor is done so hope y'all enjoyed watching and we'll see you the next time